growing so much guys he looks huge he's not that big in person he's just had a haircut and he's got a new little bow <laughs> which is brilliant. Anyway, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna to be totally honest with you guys today and say I have not been feeling um, positive for the past few days and I've been crying and stressing and feeling anxious and fearful and I just wanted to make this video, um, I'm feeling a bit better today, but I just wanted to make this video to show you that it's totally normal to have those days. We don't have to always think positively. And when we see other people's lives and think, okay, how are they always so happy? You know, they can't have any problems or issues. I do this channel to show you guys it's possible to get yourself a lot happier, but there is still times where you need to allow that sadness in. So I'm gonna be honest and talk about my experience over the past few days and yeah, I'm hoping that it will help some of you, um, anyone that is struggling as well, just to feel a little bit more normal. Hi my lovelies, welcome if you are new here, my name is Hetty and on this channel we discuss all things positive, high vibe and how to use the law of attraction to manifest the life of your dreams. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for me and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any more content of me and baby mommy. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming up to five months now guys almost had him for three months that's absolutely crazy isn't it um anyway i wanted to just do this video talking to you honestly today about how i've been feeling for the past few days um a couple of days ago i literally just had like a full-on breakdown and i very rarely get to that point anymore but for the past like few days i've been feeling my emotions been very up and down and I've been focusing too much on external circumstances that I can't control and that's where the fear and anxiety always comes in for me. So I've done a video before on having OCD. OCD is a form of control. It's when things have happened in your life, you form these habits because it's the only way you can control. So often when I'm feeling down, I'll tidy up, I'll clean up my environment around me because that is all I control can control in that moment. And I've really started to notice just how much um, I focus on external circumstances when I'm feeling anxious and that is always what triggers my anxiety when there's something that is totally out of my control that is with other people that I can't do anything about and although 99% of the time I'm able to overcome that and I have come a long way in not being so anxious and fearful all the time of different things there is still those limiting beliefs and ingrained patterns of behaviours and things from my childhood that I still hold on to. So a lot of the time what you know our limiting beliefs come from is what's happened to us previously in the past, a lot of the time comes from childhood. So it's really important to understand that, to understand yourself better where that might have come from. So my control, my need to control and my feeling of loss of control has come from when my mum passed away when I was five years old. Obviously that was something that was totally out of my control at that time and something so unexpected that you don't even, you know, you're not even developed in the world yet. You don't know what's going on. So I've always carried that root belief and that fear and I've only started to really be aware of it recently that losing my mom at such an early age where I had no control over it, I hadn't even figured out the world yet and then one of the most important people in my life had gone and I, you know, I could never get that back. That is why I always fear about situations or when I'm in relationships, that that will always continue to happen. And I've been learning to let go of that control but over the past few days I have been feeling a little bit out of sorts and if you can hear a funny sound it's because I'm in a conservatory at the moment and it started raining a little bit um, so I hope you can't hear that too much on the video I might talk a little bit louder just to hopefully drown out that noise a bit um, but yeah it's my fear of loss of control that always gets me back into these old emotional patterns and negative behavior and I thought talking about it today might help other people but also help me as well I do find like this channel is my therapy to discuss and talk about things that are going on in my own life so I can get over them and so that I can see that they're not that big of a problem so you all know I've been talking for ages on this channel about uh, buying a house so 
I haven't spoke much about this in detail before and I will do a totally different video on this how I managed to manifest my dream house but I bought a house back in um, November December last year and I still so we are in April coming up to May now I still haven't moved into that house there's been a number of different delays and it's something that is totally out of my control it's with the solicitors it's nothing to do with me at this point and i am every single day i am a step closer a step closer to getting that date to moving in but it's something i cannot control and something that has been affecting me for a while especially with um marmite i've been moving around here there and everywhere blessing me's done really well and i've had to stay at different places um because I just obviously haven't had that house to stay at and it's a little bit more difficult when you actually have a dog as well. You know, you have to find people who are able and willing to let you stay with a dog. So I've been feeling really out of sorts and like I'm losing control in different aspects of my life. I'm still working from home, which although I love my job, it has got to the point now, it's been over a year working from home. We're going back into the office, but as of yet, I'm hoping you can't hear the rain too much. Hmm. But as of yet, um, I can't go back into the office because I can't leave Marmite where I am on his own and I can't take him in and I'm, I'm waiting till I move into my own house so he can stay at home when I go to work and then that's fine. So there's a numerous different things. There's, different feelings of relationships in my life that are going on at the moment that I feel out of control with. You know, we can't see people as often as we used to or do things with people as often as we want to. And so there's a feeling of loss of control of, well, I only have this small area of possibilities as to where I can see people and go and do things. And it gets very monotonous day to day when you're sat in the same place, worrying and stressing about a situation you can't control, about my house that I can't yet move into. And I just wanted to show you that it's totally normal to feel down and out of control. Even when you're the most positive person in the world, it's really important to open up and discuss your feelings. I was messaging my sister the other day. I was having a total breakdown. I literally just sat here on the sofa for like two hours doing nothing, staring outside, literally just looking at nothing. And all, it was just my thoughts. It was like I was living in my head for two hours. All I was thinking about was just how wrong everything was going, how difficult it all was for me. And that was all that was going on in my head. And I, was, I started to message her, I thought, I'm going to message my sister, I'm going to speak to her, I'm going to be honest and open. And although I was being negative, yes, I was being negative, I was saying I just can't be bothered anymore, you know, I just want to pull out of the house sale, um, it's stressing me out too much, there's just too much going on at the moment, I'm just fed up with life. It felt good to get that off my chest, and I feel like I've been able since then to build myself back up to feeling a lot more positive about the situation. And I feel like this is getting really loud in here, so I'm gonna move rooms, hold on. Okay guys, the lighting is not the best in here, um, but it was getting really loud because I just realized it's hailstoning outside in April. It's not even that cold today, I don't know what's going on. Um, but I, yeah, I, I messaged my sister and I spoke to her and she was like, I'm so glad you've reached out. It's totally normal to feel like this. You need to be honest and open about how you're feeling. It's understandable that you're stressed out. You know, you're in a very changing situation, very uncertain situation, and that's totally normal. And although I do speak on here about accepting and embracing change and uncertainty, that is so important. If we have not overcome those internal barriers yet, then it can still be difficult hurdles at times to get over. You know, it might not have been as, as difficult as it was in the past. If I had faced the challenges I'm facing right now, a year ago, I would not be dealing with them half as well as I am now. So although I have overcome a lot of internal barriers and you can still do the same, when, these, when you face these challenges and realise, you know, you're going through difficult times and uncertain situations, it is really 
a blessing in disguise to show you what is still going on inside deep down maybe that you're not aware of so that you can overcome these barriers and limitations and I take everything that I go through as a lesson no matter how down I feel at the time even when I'm feeling down I know that that is for a reason and that I'm supposed to be feeling down in that moment to teach me something greater and to come out totally on the other side of it so I was crying my eyes out for like two hours. I haven't cried like that for ages. I very rarely cry anyway. And I just thought, do you know what? I'm just gonna get it all out. I'm just gonna cry as much as I want. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna resist the feeling and the emotion and hold it all in. And I'm just gonna cry my eyes out. I thought about filming for you guys. I thought, right, maybe I'll just get my camera out now. And although some people think, well, that's a weird thing to do in the moment of a breakdown. I thought I want to be as honest and open as possible but then my mind just said no don't focus on anything else fully just go into this feeling of like fear and anxiety and just be in the moment and that's what I did and I cried I cried I cried and then once I'd done that and I felt like I couldn't cry anymore all of the emotion and all of the feeling I felt like the deep blocks that I'd been putting on myself and the stress I'd been putting on myself started to lift and release. And over the past few days, I've been working on letting go. Letting go is so important to um, letting go of the outcomes. It's so important to actually release that anxiety and that fear and that worry in your life. And once we are able to let go of the attachment to the outcome, that is when things start to change for us so much in our life. So I'm coming on here to tell you guys all of this. I keep changing the camera angle on videos at the moment. Even though I've come on here to tell you guys all of this and to hopefully make you guys feel better as well, that it's totally normal to have these <laughs> feelings that you're losing control and you don't know what's going on in your life. I'm also coming on here to hold myself accountable to say, I am making a conscious decision going forward right now to let go of all the worry, doubt, stress, fear, outcomes. If I move into my house tomorrow, if I don't, that's fine. If I ever end up moving in or not, that's fine. If I end up seeing people more and going out and having plans or just staying in and sitting in the same place that I've been sitting in for another year, that's fine, it is what it is, and I'm just gonna accept it where it is. I'm not gonna expect any outcome from anything, and I'm just going to do something for the sake of doing it, not for the achievement of the outcome. Often when we take action to achieve a result or an outcome, we put pressure and stress on that outcome to turn out in that way for us. And so we are narrow narrowing the field of possibilities that can actually happen for us. So I am declaring here and I want you guys to do it with me, whatever it is at the moment, if it's a relationship, if it's a house, if it's um, something to do with your health and your weight, let go of the outcome of that. Say to yourself right now, However this relationship turns out, then it is for the best for me. If it works, great. If it doesn't, great. However, if I move into this house right now, if it works out and I move into this house, great. And if it doesn't, great. I don't care either way. If I get better, if I'm feeling ill and I get better, great. If not, then great. I will still continue to live my life to the fullest. So let go of everything that you are holding on to right now that is causing you fear, doubt, anxiety, worry. Identify those limiting beliefs within yourself and tell yourself that from this point forward, you are going to make a conscious decision that every time those fears, doubts, anxieties arise, you're going to allow them to be there and let them go. Imagine when you are feeling that, when you are thinking that that it's something external coming in and all it needs to do is pass through you in order to leave so if we view these feelings and emotions as something that is just coming to and through us instead of holding on and sitting and feeling inside of us and causing that tension and that built up stress and anxiety if every time we have a negative thought or feeling we allow it to be there and flow and come in and come out then that is what will make us feel so much better and we'll start to learn that behavior instead of learning to hold on and suppress and repress and worry about all these stress negative feelings and emotions so i hope you have enjoyed this video i just wanted to be honest a little bit different today and um, and just say that 
healing and learning is not linear you can learn something and then kind of drop off the edge of a cliff and think i thought i knew that but then what you do from there is you build up even higher it's the same with healing it can go like this because there is lessons that you need to learn all along the way of your journey so Thank you for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, please give me a like. If you want me to just do more um, content like this and just tell you how you know I'm feeling in certain moments, even if it might seem to some people a little bit more negative, um, then let me know. And until next time, keep spreading the positive vibes and love and I will see you soon. Mwah!